Robert Smalls was a hero of both the Civil War and of Reconstruction. In 1874, he was elected to the United States House of Representatives from the state of South Carolina. Just 12 years before, he staged one of the boldest and most imaginative escapes in the history of slavery. Its daring and its timing were unbelievable. Robert Smalls was a 23-year-old slave pressed into service for the Confederacy aboard a ship called the Planter. For nearly a year, Smalls quietly observed the movements of the ship and its crew. Just before dawn on May 13, 1862, Smalls took his chance. While the ship's officers slept ashore, Smalls and his fellow enslaved crew members pulled up anchor and eased the planter into Charleston Harbor. The plan was that he and the other enslaved members would meet their family members and take off and sail to Union territory. He knew that there would be danger ahead because he had to pass through four Confederate checkpoints. He dressed up like the captain, he even walked like the captain, so that it looked like nothing was wrong. Smalls slipped past the first three checkpoints undetected. The most dangerous checkpoint remained, Fort Sumter. As dawn broke, the crew urged Smalls to take a wide berth, but Smalls knew that changing course could arouse suspicion. Smalls gave the signal. A few seconds later, the signal came back, pass on by. As the ship approached Union territory, Smalls replaced the palmetto and rebel flags with a white bedsheet that his wife had brought on board, narrowly avoiding cannon fire. Smalls, his family, and the entire crew of the planter were now free. <laughs>